In uh, today's session, we are seeing that the euro has been consolidating closer to 1.18, and as it seems, this is the uh, I think the part of ongoing bullish turn from the medium term perspective. Of course, on the shorter time horizon, it has been on the upward trajectory for uh, last couple of sessions now, and uh, looking at it uh, from the larger time frame. we see that this uh, can be considered as a bullish turn happening in the euro which might eventually take the euro towards 1.20 levels in uh, coming weeks if we consider the trading context for the day we had lot of data in the prior hours of today's session starting from the china we got the trade balance data for the china and here the trade surplus has actually gone lower to US dollar 37 point uh, sorry US dollar 37 billion for the month of September and this is actually a good news from the point of view of the China's domestic economy as uh, more and more people are coming out to go for the new spending we saw the Chinese import surging and the rate of growth in import is more than the export and as a result of that the trade surplus is lower but it's a good news you can say from the chinese point of view the data for other major economies include the united kingdom's uh, employment number and uh, this is the dated uh, data if you consider the release was for the month of july and the latest uh, numbers are for the claimant count change for the month of september and uh, there the rise is of around 28000 which is lower than the prior month so that uh, points to the continued recovery but uh, it is uh, still long way off from the pre coronavirus days later on we also got the zdw economic sentiment index data for both the uh, euro area as well as the germany and uh, both the readings are pointing to the surging uh, coronavirus Uh, cases in uh, europe having an impact on the economic sentiments prevalent in the euro area and uh, germany and both these uh, numbers for the october are lower than uh, the prior month readings and for the euro area now the zdw economic index stands at 52.3 whereas for germany the zdw economic sentiment index stands at 56.1 and it these are uh, significantly lower than the prior month's readings later in the day we are also scheduled to get the inflation data for the united states and uh, here we can expect the marginal rise for the us both in terms of uh, year on year as well as in terms of month on month for the year on year figure we are expecting the reading close to around uh, 1.4% for the month of september and in terms of month on month the reading might uh, come in at 0.4% and uh, this is happening as the the euro uh, sorry the us economy is opening up and uh, the consumer spending is going up and that is pushing the prices but uh, not much now let's uh, shift our attention to the technical aspect first we will cover the euro usd and then we will move on to the usd jpy's technical outlook Let's start with the Euro USD technical outlook. This is the daily time frame chart, and uh, yesterday's session we had seen the consolidation happening in the Euro, and uh, the theme which was the uh, center stage for the yesterday's session, the USD's weakness, is still persistent in today's session. But the thing is that now I think uh, the outlook looks more promising for the Euro. We saw the consolidation and. Uh, to some extent some correction in the euros uh, price moves in yesterday's session of course the range has been pretty narrow but uh, the price levels which were we, which we were looking at in yesterday's session are now being reached and uh, the current price levels are crucial from the short as well as the medium term perspective so here we are looking at this uh, central pivot point which is providing the immediate support for the euro usd and uh, we have seen the euro usd price action holding on above this uh, central pivot point for last couple of hours and that points to the possibility of uh, euro usd respecting this immediate support and eventually it might pull back from here on the higher side so we should uh, 
keep a keen eye on the price moves of euro usd closer to this 1.178 range and i feel given the fact that the regression curve has also now bent on the upside after this prolonged consolidation phase with the formation of higher highs and higher lows taking place and uh, coupled with the fact that we also have the support coming in from the central pivot point we can consider this uh, 1.178 range to be the crucial support area for the euro usd and we can indeed look for fresh trading opportunities for the long side trade in the euro usd in today's session and to that extent we will have to figure out the optimum uh, entry and exit points and uh, i feel that the price action should be able to hold well closer to these uh, prior swing highs now as i said we also have the support from multiple technical indicators and also we have the support from the price action perspective as well and uh, we on the lower hand we have this uh, 200 uh, sma inching higher around 1.1.177 1 and the 100 sma is pretty much there which is uh, there around 1.178 so taken together we have strong support in place around these uh, price levels and as a as a result of that we can indeed feel confident about going in for the fresh long trades in the euro usd in which we can target the prior swing highs or even more than that and the immediate target would be coming closer to 1.19 range so here we are looking at this uh, optimum risk reward ratio and for us we want the risk reward ratio to be at least 1 is 2 2 and if we are going to go for the long trades anywhere close to 1.178 while keeping the stop loss anywhere around 1.175 i think for a risk of around 30 35 pips we can indeed look for the possible moves on the higher side around 1.185 or even beyond that and uh, there we will be getting the 70 to 80 pips uh, target at the minimum for the euro usd and that will give us the risk reward ratio of 1 is to 2 which is our uh, requirement for uh, any trade now let's see what's going on in the usd gpy usd gpy is taking a bearish turn and uh, here we saw the last two days uh, continued fall and in today's session it has indeed found some minor support closer to the yesterday's lows but uh, still the odds are stacked against the usd and i think the weakness in usd is likely to persist and to that extent that is the opportunity for us to look for the short sale trades in the usd jpy and uh, given the fact that if the usd jpy closes the day on the lower side we will see the confirmation of the crossover of uh, 10 ema below 20 ema and that will also be another bearish signal for the trader and then on the lower side we can pretty much expect these prior swing lows to be reached in next uh, couple of days or you can say even couple of weeks so we will be gearing up for the fresh opportunities to go short in the usd jpy so far we have seen the usd jpy consolidate closer to this uh, immediate support zone on the pivot point series for this month but given the fact that uh, the fall has been pretty sharp and uh, the magnitude is also quite strong i think uh, we can expect uh, in due course of time this uh, support area to break but of course it might take time and that is also give us more time to think about and uh, observe the evolving situation in usd jpy and uh, as of now the regression curve is still bent on the upside and i think because of these both the factors we might not see the immediate fall in the usd jpy but what we can do is uh, keep a keen eye keep a close watch on the usd jpy's price move and as situation evolves and as and when we feel that now the consolidation is coming to an end and we are also going to get the optimum risk reward ratio in that scenario we can indeed go for the fresh short sale trade in the usd jpy and to that extent to figure out the optimum entry and exit points we can rely on this uh, confluence zone of 50 100 and 200 sms which is uh, the 
zone for us to look for the trading entries and uh, if we consider this uh, consolidation phase in which the USD JPY found the support and uh, now that support stand bridge and uh, as a result of that we can expect the USD JPY to dig lower and eventually it might even go below 105 but for us this uh, 200 SMA can be considered as a crucial marker and uh, as long as the price action is below it we can uh, feel confident about going in for a fresh short sale trade and uh, in today's session I think uh, we are likely to see more of sideways movements and uh, not uh, one way directional trend trending uh, price moves but as uh, we can see from this formation of the two year SMA crossovers and uh, we have this uh, death cross already in place where the 50 SMA has crossed below the 200 SMA now if we wait for uh, say a US station or uh, till tomorrow morning we will uh, pretty much have these uh, 100 SMA crossing below the 200 SMA if the price action continues to hover below these uh, 200 SMA level and uh, then we will have one more reasons to believe that this uh, bearish trajectory for in the USD JPY is for real and uh, we can indeed go for the short sell trade anywhere closer to the 200 SMA which is there around 105.65 so for a price band of around 1.5 105.6 to 105.7 we can keep the stop loss anywhere closer to the immediate uh, swing high the Monday morning uh, opening level and uh, I think uh, if we are going to see continued bearish momentum this uh, high shouldn't be breached and we can count on that of course in the market nothing is ever certain but uh, what the probability tells us is that uh, we have the odds in our favor for the continued weakness in the USD JPY and we can we are relying on that look for the fresh short sell trades while taking the risk of around 30-35 pips and uh, in lieu of that we can expect the USD JPY to even cross below 105 in coming session and that will be giving us the risk reward ratio of 1 is to 2 so that's it from my side for today's session if any of you have any query or any idea to share you can write it in the comment section and i would be more than happy to take the discussion forward before i sign off i would also like to remind of the risk associated with trading in the financial instrument and one should be careful while using the information provided have a fabulous day ahead goodbye